Hi all, and thanks for taking a look at ProBuilder. In this first tutorial, we'll just be taking a look at the very core of ProBuilder, which of course is just building and editing meshes right within the Unity 3D editor using the ProBuilder tool. So to start with, let's go ahead and open up the ProBuilder window. So we just click on Window up top, down to 6x7, and then choose the ProBuilder menu item here. So this opens up the ProBuilder window, which you can move around however you like, place it as uh, wherever you need to. And then just go ahead and click on Activate to go into the ProBuilder mode here. So with this ready, we can create our first item and start editing it. The New Box button under Box Actions is what we'll need, and that will, when clicked, just spawn in a brand new ProBuilder box. And you can edit this just like you would any other item within Unity. So you can move it, rotate it, even scale it if you like. Scaling is generally sort of a no-no, uh, not very good to do, it will mess up the textures a bit, you can if you like, but uh, not recommend it. It also kind of doesn't allow you to use the, the real advantages of ProBuilder which come when you edit it using the vertices and such. So let's take a look at that. So with this ProBuilder box selected, uh, you can select multiple boxes at once, we'll just do one for right now. Just go down to the geometry area and click on edit selected. Here we'll get uh, these vertex gizmos showing up at each corner, and we can use those to edit the box. Simply select any one, hold control to select multiple, and then move them up and down, or of course in any direction, using the usual Unity handles. Nothing special to learn here. You can also drag select to select multiple at once, or simplest of all, just click on a face and it will automatically select all the verts for that face and you can move them around just like so. Very very simple, easy to do and should be pretty intuitive which are all at the core of using ProBuilder. It's not about being complicated or hard to figure out, everything pretty much just works as you would expect and is nice and fast uh, to use. Along those lines you'll notice that the UV channels are automatically being updated for you so as you move this around nothing's getting stretched or messed up it's all taken care of. The same goes for light maps. If you want to get a really nice smooth light map like this and such, it's all done for you. The UV2 channel is totally auto-generated, so no problem, nothing you have to do there at all. To exit the geometry mode, simply click on Done, and it will exit. You'll see the vertices or the vertex gizmos disappear, and now it's just back to being a regular object that you can move around however. One thing you'll notice whenever you're in ProBuilder mode is that you can't actually select and edit anything other than ProBuilder objects. For example, if I deactivate ProBuilder, let's create just a sphere, just a Unity sphere, or it could be a light or a camera, anything at all. With ProBuilder not active, I can select this, edit it, etc., just as usual. Once I activate ProBuilder, I can no longer select it or do anything to it at all, in fact. However, I can still edit ProBuilder objects. And this is just a way to make sure that uh, less things are able to break and it moves uh, a little quicker when you're doing some of the ProBuilder actions. So just to be aware of if you're wondering, oh no it's broke, don't worry, it's not. Uh, just the way it's designed to work. Simply deactivate and everything will go back to normal. So let's take a look at something a little more complicated. Let's say we wanted to actually build something like the side of the stairs here. I'm going to delete this extra sphere and this new cube. And let's take a look at how this is built. So ProBuilder is something, uh, or the system that it uses to build, is something that might be a little bit different to anyone who hasn't already used something like UDK or uh, Unreal, you might know it as, or the Hammer Engine, Radiant, lots of other game engines, the larger ones especially. They use a, I call it a BSP style system just because it uses the BSP system. And basically everything is built out of individual cubes. So if we take a look at this, this is all actually separate cubes putting everything together, even each of these stairs. And the first thing you might be thinking is, oh wow, that looks like a lot of tedious trouble. However, uh, no worries, it is not. It's actually very simple and easy once you get the hang of it. Uh, even, you know, if you take it for myself, I guess, I've worked for a long time as a architectural 3D artist using 3D Max, a little bit of Blender and some others, and I actually ended up just using Hammer uh, to do some TF2 mapping and found it was the simplest 
best system I've, I'd ever used for creating environmental 3D and it's really a neat way to do it and very very fast. I could build entire levels you know just gray box nothing too special but playable testable levels easily in less than a day just throwing it together using this system using these individual boxes and such. So while it may seem a little strange at first uh, you know give it a give it a try here and let's show how we could build this actually and maybe you'll you'll see how uh, how quick and simple it is really to use. So let's just delete each of these items actually all the parts of this other stair there they are so that we can recreate it now the first thing to do obviously is create a new box and let's start with creating let's start with creating the side piece that makes uh, this top area there top side ish and we'll notice right away you know we want this to snap perfectly so it will fit up to the edges of this uh, of the already constructed pieces so we're going to take a look at another tool that actually comes free with ProBuilder. We'll take just a quick look at it. There'll also be specific tutorials for this tool called ProGrids. And we'll uh, activate it so that we can go ahead and build this much, much easier and also take a look at how it works. So go up to Window, 6x7, and it will be labeled ProGrids. And again, this is a tool that comes completely free with Pro, uh, sorry, with ProBuilder. Otherwise, you can purchase it directly from the site at 6x7studio.com or from the Asset Store if you'd prefer. So ProGrids, very simply, again, won't get too much in depth of this, simply gives you full customizable grids in your editor. So just like really any other standard uh, game engine has, and it's a great way to build up anything in your level, especially if you have tiles, uh, you know, like a tile-based dungeon editor and so forth, or... Uh, in particular with ProBuilder it works very well. So if you go into any isometric view you'll see that you automatically get this grid system showing up and it shows the correct one based on whatever view you happen to be in. You can change the size of the grid, the units that it's in, toggle it on and off, or turn just the visibility on and off. So if we look at this, let's go directly from the top and then with that on, it'll now automatically snap to that grid. So just take a look at that a little better. You can see, probably easier here, it's snapping right onto that grid. Very, very handy, especially for building things in ProBuilder. So I can snap that right there, look at it from the front, make sure it's snapped on as I want it. Very simple. And then I can go in and start editing this object still using the grids. So with that selected, click on Edit Selected select these verts and I can tell that this is two grid units or in this case 50 centimeters half a meter over move these down to here move this out a bit doesn't have to be perfect I suppose we'll get it just about right in this case exit geometry go back into perspective view so there's about the first piece looks pretty close I might actually move this out and of course, uh, if you're looking at this, uh, wondering why it seems to be taking a while, naturally if you aren't teaching this, it'll take uh, it'll be much faster and smoother to do. But we'll just take our time with this so it all makes sense. So let's create the bottom piece underneath that now. We can, uh, with this object selected here, I'm just going to hit Control D to make a copy of it. Move it down about the, to the, about the right position. Go back into edit mode. Move these down so they snap. Move this over done and I'll make another piece here and keep on going continuing this something like that I believe and then we just need one last piece actually just to make sure let's create a new box for this one Sometimes if you are editing the boxes over and over, you might accidentally, like in this case, uh, you'll get the normals mixed up. You'll think one side is front and back, but it's actually, you know, left and right or something. So if you've made a 90 degree corner, it's usually best to create a new box for it. Uh, not always, but it can come in handy. So I'm doing that here. And I'm kind of cheating and using my light map from the previous build, so I know pretty well what I'm building here. Let's make that over there. And there we have it. We built the basis for it. 
pretty quick and simple just like that and now we just need to create these stair pieces so to do this exactly the same I'm going to go over into a side view and let's just again make a copy of this piece edit mode and we'll make these slightly simpler just so we can stay on the same grid view now I can just copy this and there we have it simple to build and once again all the UV2 channels are taken care of for me so this will light map perfectly if I want to build the light map very easy to make uh, looks like with this new stair design it's not quite fitting perfectly so you know you'd want to edit that but again that's the beauty of using Pro Builder is that if I want to you know this isn't stuck I don't have to go back to the 3d editor uh, bring it back in hope it fits etc back and forth I can simply go in here and edit this however I want um, probably even the best mess method would be to simply edit this and bring this out like that so there we have it done simple as that and that's a pretty uh, quick and simple look at how the building works in Pro Builder. in some future tutorials we'll be looking at all sorts of other features such as using the this bright yellow stuff the no draw using uh, zones and triggers occluders collision all sorts of great things like that that Pro Builder can do for you so thanks for watching and see you in the future tutorials thanks